Welcome to this week's edition of Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Chi Chen Lo. In this age of innovation, research and development has been a very important foundation for a country's international com competitiveness. In today's program, we are very delighted and honored to invite the president of Academia Sinica, the most prestigious and influential research institution in Taiwan, to share with us his views about Taiwan's research capacities. Let's welcome Dr. Chi Hui Wong. President Wong, welcome to our program. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. Could you tell us the mission of Academia Sinica? Okay, as you know, Academia Sinica is the highest academic institution in Taiwan. That's right. And structurally, it's under the president's office. Mm -hmm. So the president of Academia Sinica report to the, the president. president of the country. Mm -hmm. And because of this structural arrangement, the uh, academy has uh, three very important missions. Mm -hmm. The first one, of course, is to undertake uh, academic research mm -hmm. in science and humanities. Mm -hmm. And the second one is to cultivate uh, young scholars to mm -hmm. become the ge next generation of academic leaders. That's right. And the third one is to provide the guidance, co coordination, mm -hmm. and incentives to uh, raise the academic standard in Taiwan. That's right. So these are the three uh, very important missions mm -hmm. for uh, the academy. Yeah, but in terms of academic researchers, uh, there must be some focuses, right? right? What are the major focus now for the Academia Seneca? Now, the, the academy has uh, three divisions. Mm -hmm. One is uh, physical science, the second one is uh, life science, mm -hmm. and the third one is uh, humanities and social, social science. science. Yeah. Now, each division has its own focus. Mm -hmm. And for example, in physical science, mm -hmm. chemistry, physics, astronomy, uh, earth science, and nanoscience mm -hmm. uh, currently are the major effort. Mm -hmm. Now in life science, uh, we focus on genomic medicine, mm -hmm. molecular, and structural biology, and also uh, to develop new tools mm -hmm. to understand the diseases such as cancer, mm -hmm. infectious disease, and uh, immunology related disorders. Mm -hmm. So these are the focus for life science research. Yeah. Now in humanities and social science we have major effort in uh, the study of history mm -hmm. including the Chinese history and Taiwanese history, yeah. economics uh, and the digital content, mm -hmm. uh, digital archive mm -hmm. uh, type of uh, uh, research. So. You can see that it covers a broad spectrum That's right. of uh, scientific disciplines. But I think in the future, we really need to have to be more selective That's right. in order to be competitive in the world. Yeah, we'll talk about the niches that uh, academia yes. enjoys. Right. But uh, how many researchers uh, do you have now, uh, now currently? Uh, currently, we have 730 PI, mm -hmm. principal investigators. Mm -hmm and uh, about 100 specialists. Mm -hmm. um, they are the major supporting staff members for uh, major mm -hmm. facilities and, and research programs. And there are about 400 administrative uh, staff members. Mm -hmm. And then I would say two to 3,000 mm -hmm. uh, research assistants, post students. So mm -hmm. uh, total there are about 5,000 mm -hmm. uh, people. Is that the biggest one in Taiwan? In terms of size? I don't think so. I think university <laughs> is bigger. <laughs> uh, I mean, in terms of researchers, yeah, still. I think so, yes. Yeah. yes. But in terms of the uh, uh, pure academic research institutions, right. in comparison with other countries, you know, national funded institutions, is that size quite uh, you know, uh, big? I think it, it's medium. Mm -hmm. But in, in terms of budget, uh, we have about 400 million U.S. dollars a year, mm -hmm. and I think that's a pretty good and stable mm -hmm. um, kind of budget, and we have a stable increase every year. So mm -hmm. I'm really very pleased to, uh, to be uh, mm -hmm. with the Academy because yeah. it's a very unique situation uh, in the world. Mm -hmm. we, we have uh, research institutions mm -hmm within the academy, and yeah. that's very unusual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. President Wong, you mentioned earlier that one of the missions for the Academia Sinica is to cultivate the young scholars, you know, yes. rising stars and so on. Right. What have you been doing in doing that kind of job? 
So there are several things. One, of course, is to uh, accept uh, the graduate students from mm -hmm. university and to continue their advanced study. Mm -hmm. And the second is to uh, work with the local university to uh, have a joint degree program yeah. to train a student, particularly in the master and PhD mm -hmm. degree program. And the third one is uh, uh, that Academia Sinica has an international graduate program. Mm -hmm. And this, again, is uh, together with the local university. That's right. But we have a lot of international students in the mm -hmm. program, yeah. and it's an English-speaking program. Mm -hmm. Before we talk more about the activities that uh, Academia Seneca has been engaged in, let's take a look at the uh, show introduction to the Academia Seneca and okay. see what are the overall uh, structures and the activities that your institution has been doing. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Yes. The Academia Sinica is Taiwan's highest academic research institution and is dedicated to academic research and training of high-level research manpower. The Academia Sinica's first president was Tsai Yuanpei. Successive presidents were Zhu Jiahua, Hu Shi, Wang Shijie, Chen Siliang, Wu Daiyou, and Li Yuanze. The current president is Wong Qi Hui. Three vice presidents assist the president in managing organizational affairs. Persons with outstanding academic achievement are elected academicians. The convocation of academicians is convened regularly to debate the country's research directions. Current academicians include six Nobel Prize laureates. The Council of Academia Sinica meets to plan and deliberate academic development and cooperative undertakings. There is also an academic advisory committee. Looking towards the future, we plan to establish an excellent academic research environment, encourage our researchers to dedicate themselves to their work, and strive to boost the academic capabilities of the country as a whole. We have enlisted the services of many outstanding senior overseas scholars and scientists in recent years. Led by our world-class scientists, in the future we will devote our collective efforts to the pursuit of forward-looking, innovative research topics with long-term development potential. Our long-term commitment to ecological conservation and education is reflected in our Herbarium Research Center for Biodiversity, Marine Research Station, and aquatic plant pond. We will promote basic research in biodiversity and sponsor interdisciplinary research, furthering the sustainable development of mankind and the world. Our Museum of Art and Artifacts offers interpretive and guide services to many visiting groups and shows that the Academia Sinica values art and culture just as highly as academic research. We have established the Academy of Sciences for the Developing World, Taiwan Chapter, to help developing nations. We will expand our cooperation in East Asia, South Asia, and Eastern Europe. We currently maintain stable cooperative ties with over 30 academic organizations. We will continue to provide funding to domestic academic organizations wishing to participate in international organizations and send representatives to participate in the International Council for Science, ICSU. We are committed to maintaining the country's membership in relevant international academic organizations. From the uh, video, apparently, uh, we have seen that uh, Academia Sinica has been very active and very internationalized in promoting and doing the research and so on. Mm -hmm. But apparently, uh, uh, you know, you have a clear vision of for the future. Looking back, what are the major achievements of the Academia Sinica? 
uh, the past achievement, yeah, that's I right. think there are many. So that's right. uh, I think what I, this is my own uh, observation. Yeah. What I see is that uh, the physical science area and the life science area have major achievement. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, for the first time, Taiwan built its own telescope in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And this telescope is able to detect the 13.5 billion year universe. Mm -hmm. So that's a remarkable achievement. That's right. And the materials used for the assembly of the telescope actually mm -hmm. has been used in many other applications, including bicycle, mm -hmm. uh, because it's to do with the, the material used for, uh, for the telescope, mm -hmm. the dish uh, used for the uh, uh, satellite, That's right. and, and, and the, uh, uh, the stereo and the detection mm -hmm. device used for that. So uh, through that kind of research in astronomy, mm -hmm. you can see that a lot of basic research has been uh, applied to many other mm -hmm. uh, industrial applications. Mm -hmm. And the other area I saw is that uh, genomic medicine. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, uh, when we take a drug, we often worry about side effect. That's right. And now, through that kind of research, you are able to see and understand how the side effect occur mm -hmm. and what are the genes associated with that. Now you can develop a new diagnostic tool That's right. uh, to uh, diagnose mm -hmm. or to uh, predict if you take that drug, mm -hmm. uh, uh, would there be a, a side effect. That's so right. things like that uh, is to do with basic research, but uh, the outcome has a major impact. Mm -hmm. Now in the chemical sciences, is the same. So mm -hmm. we see uh, the study of uh, structure of matters mm -hmm. from atomic scale to protein to mm -hmm. cells. Mm -hmm. And through the understanding of these uh, uh, structure and function, you come up with a new way of designing the drug right. and understanding the disease. Mm -hmm. So basic research has a long-term contribution. That's and right. we often are very difficult to uh, say that in a very uh, clear way mm -hmm. to the society because uh, it's more fundamental. That's right. But the the impact of basic research has been enormous, and, right. and and what you need to do is to uh, to make the public understand mm -hmm. how the basic research uh, can make a contribution mm -hmm. to the development of the economy. Yeah, yeah. But President Wong, you mentioned earlier that uh, for now your institution has been covering all kinds of research areas, right. and you had. You say that you had to be selected in the future. Right. What do you think would be the area that uh, your academia Seneca have more advantages in terms of competing with other countries? Right. So in, let's look at the three divisions. And in social science mm -hmm. and uh, humanities, I think history, history. will be one. Uh, economics, particularly econometrics, mm -hmm. uh, is very strong. And uh, <clears throat> digital archive, mm -hmm. that's another. Uh, type of area we have developed to organize uh, the history, the Chinese history, mm -hmm. uh, to organize a huge database. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in physical science, I would say uh, chemistry, physics, mm -hmm. astronomy, and the earth science will be the major uh, strength mm -hmm. at Academia Sinica. And then in, in the life science area, um, I would say molecular biology, yeah. uh, genomic medicine, and uh, structural biology, and uh, uh, disease biology. Mm -hmm. So we have major effort in trying to understand how, uh, the, how the cancer is formed and how is that to do with the, uh, the, the progression of mm -hmm. the disease. And right. through that understanding, uh, we uh, should be able to come up with the, the way of uh, treating the disease mm -hmm. and even preventing the disease. Mm -hmm. yeah. So these are the area, and you probably notice that we don't have engineering. That's right. But we do have engineering science. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, a prize science research center 
mm -hmm. uh, which has been developed, uh, established recently. So there will be a restructuring process and reallocation of resources of the Academia Seneca in the future? Um, the, we have pretty good, pretty good funding, but I think uh, to be more competitive in the world, yeah. you have to identify some areas mm -hmm. and That's put right. more effort in that. That's right. Yes. And you mentioned earlier that uh, another mission that uh, the Academia Seneca has been uh, conducting is the so-called coordination among different institutions and so on, also internationalization right. of the Academia Seneca. So when we come back, we will talk about the international activities mm. conducted by the Academia Seneca. Right. So don't go away, we'll be right back.